Village. Jet was Pure Report Chat Show 2016. We're here with Ken from Rock Solid Industries. He's going to show us uh, the new cool stuff he brought to shot this year. Okay, this is my latest design for the Mose and the Ant. We refer to it as a low pro. It's the lowest possible mount that you can get for the Mosin again for a practical, for a conventional scope. We've partnered with Bluegrass Gunworks and Gunstocks to start to uh, preview a new style of laminate stock. We've got a company out of Philadelphia that really is, they're new to the business and they're really anxious to get into the laminate. Excellent. Uh, this this type is our is our Gen 3, this is our Generation 2, so we brought, we basically Brought it, brought it down and made it more conventional. We also do muzzle brakes. We're doing experimenting with muzzle brakes and flash suppressors. Excellent. Now we have we also have a K31 line that the original K31 mount is this mount right here. It's a straight pull and it brings the scope right over the bore axis. This particular right. rifle will shoot eight inch groups at a thousand yards. Wow. I shot it at Raton, New Mexico with a couple of gentlemen from, from Switzerland. Alright. Now what I did was I went back and rethought my K31 or my K31 concept and I came up with a three-piece mount system. I have a rear base, a scout base for the front, which allows you to use peep sights and a scout scope simultaneously with the front leaf side. As you'll notice, there's a there's a deep groove cut into the right. base of the scout. Okay, yeah, that allows that to nice. mount. You also have adjustable uh, cheek piece on the mountain stock because we have a what I refer to as a uh, bridge mount for the K31. This bridge mount, you'll notice how it's cut here. It's designed to take and roll over that and lock down. And this this allows you to go with a conventional system, which is what I have here. This is my conventional system. Uh -huh. That is the, the rear base, the scout base with the with the uh, bridge mount. Nice. I also have I'm prototyping a 10 round box magazine. If you'll notice, I'm using the Versapod system along with my new muzzle brake that actually pins on. Nice. K31 is nice to begin with. That oh, is yeah, completely yeah. taking it to the next level. Yeah, just basic, this basically max, I call it my max back. Yes. Because it brings it up to the, the, the ultimate option, optimus you have. I've had so many customers request different things, beep sides, that type of stuff. So why not do the whole thing in one shot? Absolutely. All right, so if someone wants these, where do they go to get them? RockSolidIND.com. Excellent. The springs on, on the most of the ant are in excess of 60 years old. What we did is we custom coiled a stainless steel spring at 19 and a half pounds. Okay. Now this speeds up the lock time and improves accuracy. For my scout rifle, uh, it will shoot every bit as good as a rear scout or gunsight rifle. And however, it lacks a 10 round box magazine. So what I did was I went back to the drawing board and reconfigured the stupid clip. Uh, most people are familiar with the old stupid clip where you have to set it in and use your thumb and you've got to get right up on the weapon to do it. Well, what I did was I came up with what I call the zipper strip. This you simply put into the receiver and load it. Excellent, yes. I can load for the zipper strip faster than you can change a magazine. One of the other things that we're working with at Rock Solid is we have the... Uh, Action screws, instead of having the standard screwdriver slot, yeah. we now have the uh, Allen socket heads that makes it much easier to work on your, to take the action in and out of your rifle. Very nice. So, yep, works on that. And then we're also, this year, starting our left-handed bolt program. Absolutely. Now, most Mosins are machined thin enough back here that will allow you to use this. Some of the Mosins, depending on who manufactured it, what country, and the date that it was manufactured, you may have to do some work. Now this is designed to fit under our standard mount. This will fit under that mount. And it simply locks like that, right. it comes down to back. That's how you work the left-handed bolt. The guys that's love awesome. it. That's awesome. That's nice. I like that. My left-handed writer will be thrilled because uh, yes. he uh, feels left out. We also have... Uh, we do trigger shoes for both the Mosin and the uh, Timney trigger. 
And I forgot to mention, this spring goes for our K31. That really smooths out the pole, but we have the spring, the spring kits to do the complete tune-up. One thing that uh, a lot of people that shoot K31s are upset about is the fact that GP11 ammo is running out. Right. Okay. Well, RCBS came up with a new cap decapper system for Verdan primers. You can purchase Verdan primers through Tula or Wolf. I think Federal's going to start making them. I'm not sure. But the thing about it is you can get the primer out, but your military-style brass head, the primers are crimped in. Uh -huh. Well, on GP11 brass, if you look down here, this is Swiss brass, GP11, and it's, it's, it's match-grade brass, but you'll see that anvil in there. Right. You need that in order to operate Verdan primer because that acts actually as a firing pin. Well, the problem you have is once you take the primer out, you've got a situation where you've got that military crimp, and I've heard guys talking about taking pocket knives and razor blades. But what I did was I went back and I designed a, uh, a military crimp cutter. It's for the K31. It says RSI, but I found that 7.62 NATO is a designation for the primers that they used on these. Uh -huh. So what I can do, if you'll notice the end is hollow, it will go in and it will cut that crimp off without damaging the anvil. Right. Now, I found, also found out that not only does this work on your GP11 brass, but the 7.62 NATO will work on 8mm Mauser brass and 7.62 by 39. Huh. So, I have these available. It's A2 tool steel and it's heat treated. It'll last forever. That pretty much runs the gamut. Excellent. Anyway, okay. thanks for your time. Thank you.